Hello LEGO fans, this is the fourth video in a series about the uh, LEGO town of Neal's Harbor and uh, it reviews some of the vehicles and characters that you would find in that town. Today I am highlighting the Neal's Harbor Fire Department Aero Rescue Vehicle or Ladder Truck. It's the job of this fire unit to rescue people uh, from multiple story fires but it is also used to uh, deliver water down upon those fires from above. I've mentioned in previous videos that I'm a firm believer in building dedicated mocks for my town. Lego often releases ladder truck sets, and these sets are great for adult and younger fans alike who are interested in either playing with the sets or uh, collecting the sets as uh, part of their greater Lego collection. Uh, this said, Niels Harbor is actually a model town built with Lego. Um, the things that you would find there must fill a logical need uh, for that uh, fictional community. And of course, in a town with several multi-story buildings, uh, the town council would see the need for a more heavily equipped aerial rescue truck, so I built it one. Now as a side note, uh, LEGO comes out in 2016 with a very large ladder truck, and it looks very nice. Uh, one that you would easily find in a city with many people and many tall buildings, uh, like New York, Chicago, Toronto, that kind of but again, that set would make no sense in a community of 5,000. The ladder truck is in fact the flagship of Niels Harbor uh, Fire Department, and it reflects this as its rescue equipment is more extensive and a little more complex. It serves a different role to the department's standard fire engine, but I think it's equally as important. Looking at the equipment for this truck, you will see immediately uh, a few changes in its standard equipment. Um, but first and foremost, you can see that there is a breathing apparatus uh, for one of the firefighters. Uh, if one is needed by, of course, the firefighter who is standing on the ladder and uh, fighting the fire above the uh, flames and smoke. Uh, but the other one of the crew would naturally uh, be down near the ground, uh, controlling and operating the ladder. So uh, as you can see, he probably would not need to don this equipment. Uh, you might also see there's no heavy radio here, uh, much like the fire pumper in my previous video. Uh, that's because if you look closely at their uniforms, they're wearing shortwave wireless radios. And that's all that's really required uh, when fire units need to communicate with each other when they're a few meters of each other. Uh, the radios in my other sets are for those kind of fire vehicles that are kilometers away from other uh, rescue vehicles. Now, uh, what we do have for this uh, truck are tools that solve sort of the bigger problems and uh, for those larger, more involved fires. And the large uh, fire wrenches that you see there are for buildings that have large access pipes. Uh, these large pipes will feed the internal, uh, internal of firefighting hoses found in say an office or a hospital, uh, buildings that have hoses uh, built in uh, on every floor. Uh, just above this, of course, is the grappling hook uh, used with ropes, of course. Uh, to move large and dangerous debris or obstructions from a distance or, or maybe even used as a rescue line in scaling an embankment that maybe a car has gone down or somebody's gotten trapped down by a, uh, a rapid river that's sort of chewing away at the shoreline. Uh, this truck in fact carries two of these grappling hooks and uh, they're in that lower white compartment to the left. Um, but just beside that you can actually see uh, there is a foam nozzle this truck, in fact, doesn't have any internal foam tank. You would have to sort of get the foam for fighting an oil fire uh, from an adjoining fire unit. Uh, this truck only carries sort of a smaller water reserve for its two auxiliary hoses, uh, which we'll get to in a moment. Uh, anyway, we're well, moving on with the equipment. Uh, there are, of course, multiple axes, flashlights, a pickaxe, a circular saw. Uh, there's a floodlight uh, beside the equipment case. Uh, just above there you can see one of the auxiliary hoses I was talking about uh, earlier that attaches to one of the uh, auxiliary hoses to the truck. Uh, both those hoses are near to the truck's cab. And I'll get to that in a moment. And in fact, maybe I'll get to it right now. And I'm turning the truck around. You can start to see the hose, one of the auxiliary hoses in the back there. And you can see the ladder. <clears throat> that around and there we go there well as you see there's still more equipment uh, there is in fact a fire extinguisher uh, there's a bull lantern flashlight there uh, 
There's a compartment over there with a, a smaller pickaxe coming out of that compartment. And just below that you can see the second auxiliary hose of that, uh, that fire truck. So it is, uh, again, very heavily uh, equipped and uh, has all the uh, extra equipment that you would need for a, a greater uh, fire or a uh, multiple vehicle pileup or whatever would be uh, requiring the response of this particular unit. All right, so I'm going to just move it slightly ahead here. There we go. And uh, we get standing beside the truck. Uh, there's Samantha on the left there who has a mechanical engineering degree. But she joined a local fire department in another town called Dupuy, uh, and she just jumped at the job offer in this town. She just loved the mental and physical uh, challenges of being a firefighter. So she decided to follow that as her career. And beside her is, of course, Jake. You recognize her? No? No, wait. Looking closer, I can see that this is Jake's younger brother, Gerard. I was wondering what Jake was doing here. Uh, Gerard emulates his brother, even down to the beard, but is quite uh, pleased with himself as he likes working on the Big Red, as the crews have nicknamed their aero unit at the station. Well, that's all we need to cover for this particular unit. And now, now I'll pack it up for you, and we'll take a look at what it looks like when it's not modeling itself for our inspection. Okay, uh, we can see that we've packed her up. I'm gonna spin around sort of one final time for you to get a look at it before we uh, head down the road to the local food mart and get the firehouse's supper for the night. Probably need the extra space that this large vehicle uh, supplies as the appetites of the uh, department are legendary. It occurred to me as I was finishing this video that I actually hadn't demonstrated that the ladder can in fact uh, reach to a third story of a building. Uh, this would be important in Neal's Harbor because Neal's Harbor is dominated uh, by many buildings that are at least three stories tall. There's even one that is four stories tall. So this would be the kind of equipment that Neal's Harbor would need to buy uh, to uh, have an effective uh, rescue ladder truck. Well, that about finishes up my video. Uh, nothing left to add except, to, of course, to say, see you in the next one, and happy building.